Hey there, I'm Andrew Edwards. I'm Jake Ludington. And today we're gonna to show you how to migrate your data so that you can upgrade from Windows Vista to Windows 7. So there are a few reasons why you wanna do this, uh, what we're gonna show these people. What, what are those reasons? So the two main reasons that you'd wanna uh, back up your data before you get started is, let's say you, you bought a new computer and it's running Windows 7 and your current computer is running Windows Vista. Right. And you need to get your data from the Vista machine to the Windows 7 machine. So that's, that's one reason. And the other reason would be you've got this Windows Vista machine and you want to upgrade it to Windows 7, but you want to make sure you don't lose any data before you go to the Windows 7 upgrade. So better safe than sorry exactly. in that situation. I, in all likelihood, your data will be fine, but why would you want to risk losing it? Right. Now, the other thing is that uh, a lot of the new computers today have 64-bit processors in them, and a lot of people want to go to the 64-bit version of Windows 7. Yes. If you're on a 32-bit version of Windows Vista, which you more than likely are, you'll want to start clean. Yes, and, so and you, you, you actually have to, you have to start clean because you can't upgrade from Vista 32 to Win 764. Right, so if any of those situations apply to you, here's how to do it. So start me off, what do we do? Start off by, uh, click the start button, and then there's the little search box above the start button. Yes. Uh, right below the all programs, and type in easy transfer. Okay. And then you'll you'll see the easy transfer show up on the screen. So we'll select easy Windows Easy Transfer. And then you'll probably get a UAC warning of message. Course. Click continue, that's okay. And here we are. Launch right into Windows Easy Transfer. This is basically just an informational start screen. You can just click next and move on. It's, all right. it's, it really just tells you what you're gonna do. Um, and then it does ask you to close all open programs mm -hmm. on your system before you begin. Yes, and this is not optional. It this actually, is not optional. the only option is to close everything. Uh, yeah, so, so you gotta close everything, whether you want to or not. Okay. So click that, that's okay. So what we have here is basically it's saying that we can start a new transfer or continue a transfer in progress, and what we're doing is starting a new transfer. So I'll select that. And what computer are you using now? So this is our old computer because we have a new Windows 7 computer that we wanna move to my old computer. Yeah, then there's three choices here. You can use a, a transfer cable, uh, which you can buy at uh, a store or order online if you need right. it. Um, transfer directly using a network connection if you happen to be both on the same network. Mm -hmm. Or you can use a CD, DVD, or other removable drive. That's honestly the, the, the easiest option because it's going to be, in most cases, faster than the other options, as long as you have a big enough external drive to back up all your data. Right, right. So we're going to and go that's, with... That's what we're going to show you here. Okay, so this is use a CD, DVD, or other removable media. And you can use a CD or DVD, a flash drive, or an external hard disk, which is what we're going to use. So here we are, choose a network location. All right, so first thing we got to do is um, plug in our, our external drive that we've got here. Right, and you want to make sure that the drive that you select um, can house all the data that you want to migrate. It needs to be preferably bigger than uh, your the hard drive on your system. Okay. So go ahead and browse for the uh, location of this drive. Okay. So here you can see uh, Untitled J is the disk that Jake just plugged in, so I'm going to select that. And that's pretty much it. You can create a password if you want. Not necessary though, right? Uh, the password is, uh, I mean, it makes the file secure, but in this case, since you're just going from one, one computer in your house to the other computer in your house, you right. probably skip it and it's okay. Okay. Here's where you select what exactly you want to transfer, and you can make it easy and just transfer all user, user accounts, files, and settings, and that's actually the recommended setting, or you can select your own. Um, what are we doing here today? Uh, let's, we're going to go with all user accounts, files, and settings because uh, realistically, like if you have, say, your wife has an account, your kid has an account, and you have an account, you may want to move all of that stuff and not right. do it one at a time. Because the other, the other thing that's going to happen is that you're going to move your stuff and then you're going to realize, why didn't I move this other stuff? So Correct. Just move everything. Okay, so we've selected that we wanted to move everything, and now it just uh, gives us one final screen letting us review everything that's going to be moved. And you still have an option to customize that if you don't like it. But if you do, you just hit transfer. And then you wait. And it's going to collect everything, put it on this external drive, and we'll then take this to our Windows 7 machine. That's how you get the files off of your old computer. Next, we'll show you how to put the files on your Windows 7 computer.